What's up? This is AC and he's here. Hey, you can see I got some weather things up there. Here's the new, new channel. It's been out for a couple months, but has been used until now. Two videos. There was a couple beforehand, but thing is, right now the YouTube is under power right now for my account, so I can't get advertisements paid. I can't get no money. Pretty much unlimited and daily motion is just completely the opposite. Ads will play. So let's get to it. So if you're new to the channel, both of them, subscribe or follow either platform you're watching. So we gotta start this is the coin that's to that section. A little bit of a shortcut, I think. So, bro, oh, that's where Mark's kids live, so he already passed on, trust me. So, you see, it's a ATB accident, so it was like very long time ago, 2011. August, late, fair time. For our area, you know, like we had those rides, and you had the. It's basically like a carnival, except in. The state, city, and you got corn dogs, you name it, fried chicken, different things like that. Stir fry, popcorn, you know, those lemonade drinks and sodas. And for us, it's real expensive right now. For since the last couple of years, had to pay to get in as well, so a couple bucks. So I'm gonna go to. That's this week. Tomorrow is this right here, which is President's Day, so. Happy President's Day, anyway. Earlier it said 66, 66, and forgive me if I don't say these correctly, but I perform autism, and depending how much I weigh, it makes it worse, so. Speech is not always the best, but this is. You see, it's 70 for Tuesday, but we got a chance under storm scattered. And this is something in the house I might be interested in. Still 60 bucks. And this is. Same thing, it's just it's bound down, it's more based. So here's the room, part of the house it looks like. The house is being made after Christmas, so 14 grand wherever it is, and I'm pretty good. It's taken a while, but the paint's going up. And you see the outlet over there that I worked on, I mean it was bad shape. So that's the LED fan, if you don't know, it's the most efficient. Surely not as bright as the fan above me, but should last longer. I definitely used it. I think yesterday I see how fast the fan blades are. No, because when you get sinus and it's hot, it's gonna be. Because last time it got up to 115 Fahrenheit. Heat index. That's not as the temperature. It's close to 100 without the heat index. Like 95, 98. And then we get the humidity, and that's the heat index. Extra. So, yeah, that was pretty hot summer. It's like you could feel in July burning your face, burning your, your top of your head. Scalp is just like my boss told me. Working at Walmart, since I'm outside, the car pressure, I'm exposed to cold fronts, solid heat waves, uh, bursting heat in the summer. That's hot and worse, but. We had a pretty cold winter this year. I think we had down to negative 12 or so, and it was pretty cold. It's like, <laughs> not easily, but whatever. That's pretty much it. So Dallas is gonna have some thunderstorms. It looks like it's scattered, but it's not <laughs> like it should. 
And of course, since it's <coughs> this month, almost March, for this location, tornado season is most likely to occur easier. So we're in February, March is in these three months, our tornado season is starting here in Midway. We even, had, we even had one last year on this day, the 28th right there, but they have been known to start that date for my birthday on March 1st, which is be 27 this year, if I believe it correctly, and then one, two, three, four, four months of tornado risk. Then it's just heat and then we got snow and all that, so tornadoes only have one. And usually it don't last long, but who knows? I mean, you can't predict a, a storm real easily. And that was a bad one. That was a year four or yeah three, but, you know, I'm lucky to have Uncle still has survived from the thing. And it goes to his house, got close to it, but did no damage. So, we're lucky the rest weren't. Pretty much it. Nicole is going to be warming up tonight. This seems like for this location, kind of like becoming a Florida base or Hawaii kind of conditions. Warmer, but this is last year was the warmest year of the earth. And this nation, this state has just been like, we have like summer in the winter. And then we just get What's this? 30 degrees the next day? It's like... I know. It's crazy. It does make people sick of sinus, including me. And I can very well have it real soon. <coughs> so once we get to March, that's usually... We've been known to have severe thunderstorms in April. Last year, there was quite a few. There was one bad one. After the train came, like, a couple weeks. That was severe enough where the phone had to go off. And you can literally hear it. It's like, have you ever been to a tornado area? It's crazy. I tell you. You see the lightning and you hear the sirens go off. Luckily, we're a mile out. But once I go to this house, it's going to be so close, I'll be able to hear it very loud. So it'll be easier for right now. We barely hear it except for the phone going off. And I try not to listen to I try not to listen to music on the phone because guess what? The thing goes off for severe weather. Flooding maybe, but tornadoes definitely. It'll sound alert and the thing go loud. It'll just blast outward with the alert and here's the crazy thing. A couple of years ago, it was Christmas Eve almost like the day before. We had a tornado coming around our state, and guess what? The phone went off. The sirens went off in this city. It was like 2015, maybe. It was so crazy. It was like March. But this is what the season is getting into right now. We're getting real close to tornado season. Before it all happened, about three months with hurricanes in June, October, whatever it is. But right now, I guess they build a garden. I could ask they build one. Because we get so much water, I could hoard it somewhere. Literally, and not pay money to garden for water. Because we get so much of it in a week. I'm not joking. We get flooded at times during the year. Different times. Sometimes a lot in the winter. As you see, that's a lot of rain. That's 100%. That's usually we get two or three inches. I mean, when we get flood, it's usually about a foot or two, a foot and a half. Now push the space bar and see we got the rain. But that's April usually has rained quite significantly, quite a lot, and I don't know this one it's not right. I recognize it, so eighty percent sixty. Heavy rain Tuesday, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Either or, you get snow, it's going to melt once it warms up. So that's kind of also a way to get water. But in order to 
make this I would have to be a piece of shirt and in case we get one of those monstrous tornadoes it's gonna blow everywhere and you wanna be safe you this house and the, the house that I'm going to doesn't have a basement no basement whatsoever so the best thing is probably a closet something like that in fact we had a associate lost her house but she stayed in the center of the closet and doors and survived so she was very lucky I think see why I'm in the basement because she want to be alive trust me I'm so bad the storm is vicious not friendly for us southern Illinois people and we knew about this a day before it's like okay there's a possible risk of trail in like a certain amount of miles and sure enough we had one in Missouri they were in Perryville or is it this is almost a year ago Farmington? no Perryville Missouri I think if I'm right it lasted over seven hours on the road cross paths with this three states and I think it went to Indiana didn't it with the three states and this destruction so that's pretty much it because where we are we have the gins on one side and Elfville it's like we're close to Elfville that's where a lot of that storms hit trails hit Somewhere, if they do occur, they hurt. They occur there, close to there. But you know, they still happen. But decoying, it's been a while since we had a couple. I remember when I was younger, it's probably about 15 years ago or 10. We have trainers in the fields quite literally, and this is also even more back, probably 2005. We were actually during the summer we had tornado. It was in down. Guess what? We were in a field with a tornado less than a mile or a quarter mile I was like I told my dad back then I was really young I was like high school sirens are going off so you know it was a small one we luckily didn't get hit but you know I was kind of freaking out because you know I got inside again it had a basement but it was flooded so that's the way out I mean I would never able to drive either as far as I get dreams every now and then about it. I mean, I had dreams for a couple years after that. Like three or four years or more. About driving back and forth, you know. You know, that's pretty much family members in the past, you know, but you know, they're fine and everything's good. Because I spent a lot of days, a lot of years there, and that's where I learned how to garden and all that, so. I don't know potatoes, but I want to try to grow some. It's just this thing I'm very long until I do it. I'm waiting for the rest of the seed. So thanks for watching. This is HD News signing out.